Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is the general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. What's coming to the current situation? We have the Five of Pentacles. How do you see yourself, Leo? King of Swords and Reverse. How does this person see themselves in this connection? Nine of Cups and Reverse. How do you view them, Leo? The Hangman. How does this person view you? Queen of Cups and Reverse. Why is all this happening? Knight of Cups. What action will you take towards this person moving forward? Strength and reverse. What action will they take towards you moving forward? The Empress. And what's the best possible outcome? Wow. Wow. Okay. So you're definitely going through a breakup separation right now. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. Someone's feeling abandoned. You're giving that person, giving someone the cold shoulder. There's no communication. Okay. Something of that sort. But um, you've definitely cut someone out. You're being very cold. I see detached or you're the one who cut someone off who was being so cold towards you. Okay. But you're definitely not communicating with someone. And the person out here that you're dealing with, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, if this person's just not happy without you. They're not happy without you. They want to come towards you and offer you love, but they see you as someone who's emotionally unavailable. Okay? They see you as someone who's just loving themselves, making themselves a priority instead of this connection anymore. You're being very cold towards this person, but they want to come towards you and sweep you off your feet. This could be an apology. This could be a love offer. This could be something more committed in an, on an emotional level here, okay? But they want to come towards you for sure. You see them as someone who's just, you know, doing nothing about the situation. Just hanging around there, doing nothing about it. That could be one of the reasons why you cut them off because they were, they were very bad with communicating. They could have been very manipulative. They could have abused their power. They could have tried to, they would have been lying, cheating. Okay, that's, that's the king of swords in reverse can have a tendency to lie. Okay, they can lie. They can just manipulate you. Okay, because they're, they're too smart. Okay, and you could cut someone off whose ego runs the show. Yeah, they weren't communicating very well. And now this person's feeling very left out. Yeah, <clears throat> you just are, you could have blocked them. <clears throat> but they were coming. You could give up on the situation here. Okay, but I feel this person was wanting something long term with you. And that's why we have the two of cups here as the best possible outcome here. Yeah, you have a relationship coming in. For the two of cups here if not this is at least what this person wants because with the empress is the action that they're taking well that's not really an an action action card it's more like a futuristic card is what i'd say they want things to grow with you okay they see you as wife material husband material whatever it doesn't matter of the gender but they definitely want something long term with you okay they want marriage with you whilst well, you're like tired of dealing with the situation all right let's see tell me more about how this person feels how does this person feel this person feel for Leo? The Emperor in reverse here. So they feel like you're being a control freak right now. They see you as not giving into this situation. You're being stubborn. You're not budging. You're not taking any action towards them. And for you, it's like my way or the highway. But then see with the King of Swords in reverse here, that can be possible, right? Because you're being very cold right now. The world in reverse. They see that things are unfinished between you guys. They don't want things to end between you, okay? You mean the world to them and they refuse to let things end, okay? They don't want to accept this ending here. And what happens here is because they don't want to accept this ending, right? So what happens is that they keep repeating the same pattern. Something needs to give. Something needs to change in this relationship here. But in order for that, for this relationship to change, a cycle needs to end between you guys. And they don't get the point that till they don't let that cycle go, they're keeping a chapter open here, okay? And they're having a hard time ending it with you because they just feel it's still not over, okay? But the thing is that they have more lessons to be learned. 
that could also be one of things okay they're repeating the same karmic cycles or the patterns over and over again and they're avoiding closing out a negative pattern okay because they just don't, don't want something again to be finished between you guys tell me more about their feelings page of wands they want to talk to you but that's a baby <laughs> the page of wands that's a baby right i mean they don't really know what they want i mean I mean, they do know what they want, but see, that's why that's how they behave with the emperor in reverse here, okay? Probably this is how they behave. This is a kid, the emperor in reverse. That's a man child, okay? Someone who's being very kiddish, very childish, okay? They know they need to step up, but they won't step up the game. They want to communicate with you, but look at the kind of communication they're coming in with. The page of wands is like, okay, like, let's start again. There's a lot of passion, attraction they have for you, but that's not something that you want and that's probably what the negative pattern is you know just let me tell you with the five of pentacles here you're definitely dealing with someone who's very codependent on you by the way this is the energy of someone here you know who feels very empty very alienated very ignored unloved and abandoned they constantly want and feel the need of um someone giving them that reassurance that they're there they're there they're there they have that lack mindset here you know, they always want someone to lead them and take care of them. And I think you've done that enough. And now you're pretty fed up of doing that. The fool in reverse, you see. Yeah. I mean, uh, this person could have had a bad relationship in the past here. Okay. They could have had a very bad relationship here. Okay. And um, they have a habit of starting things all over again from scratch with you or just overall. Not really a risk taker is what I'd say. Yeah, they're still not ready to put their past behind and start something committed with you. Yeah, that's why there is an opportunity of starting something brand new between you guys, a fresh start. But this person's taking more leaps of doubt than taking leaps of faith. Okay, they have trust issues. They could be very reckless in their moves with you. Okay, but they just don't want to risk it or they don't, want, they don't trust you or they don't trust the connection. High Priestess in Reverse, okay? So this person could be someone where I'm getting two things, okay? Give me one more card for the High Priestess in Reverse. Three of Swords in Reverse. They're going to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to heal this connection. They want to heal this connection for sure. I mean, they definitely see you as someone very badass, okay? Because I'm getting that Queen of Wands vibe here. They see you as someone very badass, very confident, you know, on your own. You got your shit happening, you know. You take action. You make things happen. You're the desired one. You're independent, confident, outgoing, assertive, whatever, right? But the problem here is that the Queen of Wands is dealing with the Page of Wands here. And that's why it just is not working out. You're like, you're like this matured person out here and you're dealing with a baby. Yeah, that's why they're not being able to match those energies and that's why you keep going on in circles with them. They're, they're very bad at communicating. They keep manipulating you, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But there's going to be some information that's going to be revealed or they're finally going to start talking, okay? They're going to break their silence and talk to you and they're wanting to come towards you and heal this breakup, heal this connection. Tell me more about why um, actually... Um, Tell me more about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. See, there's been a breakup or an ending of a long-term commitment. If not, I feel like Nine of Cups is what they could give you. That's that's the max that they could give you, okay? They could reach you, they could reach that point of where they were happy. Nine of Cups is a very smug energy, right? Where they are happy because they have around you. But the Ten of Cups is where both of y'all are happy in this relationship, right? That's something that they couldn't give because that's where they're hiding the Tenth Cup. I hope I'm making sense. I'm just doing a random spread, but I was just called to do it, so I'm just going to do it. But that's what the problem is here because something has ended here, okay? But it ended because something was either not getting committed or someone was just not ready for something for marriage or ready for a long-term commitment here. You're giving up. Why is the strength in reverse? Nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, babe, you're done. You're fed up. You're, you're fed up, okay? You're like in your head for the longest time, okay? You've been stressing the shit out, okay? And now you want to recover from this worry, this depression, okay? You want to begin to relax and calm yourself, you know, about this terrifying situation that you've had this person. You want to release worry and you want to sleep better. And that's why you're giving up because you're tired of dealing with the situation over and over and over again. It's exhausting you on a mental level and physical level also probably. But it's exhausting you and you're just like, I don't have any more strength to hold on to this relationship. Like, fuck it. Action they plan on taking is the Empress here. Tell me more about the action this person plans on taking towards Leo. 
I mean, they want this with you, but what's with the want, right? Desires don't get manifested, right? Desired, desires along with the vibration, along with the action, that's what gets manifested. Tell me more. The two of pentacles in reverse, yeah. They're no longer going back and forth, okay? They're pretty sure about what they want with you. Ace of wands in reverse, but they won't take action. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so much passion out here, right? See, that's what I'm saying. You're dealing with a kid out here who, not like age-wise, but energetically, mentally, okay? That's how they are. They just feel everything's all fun and games, right? They're being so kiddish, you know? And they're just, man-child is what I'd say. You're dealing with an overgrown child out here. They're just not being able to get with you on that energetic level. And you could have done this with this person over and over again, trying to make things work out. And now you've reached a point where you're like, you know what? I cannot give you my love anymore. Yes, it is unconditional, but not to the point where you keep hurting me or you just take advantage of me and you just expect me to give you and you, I get nothing back in return. They have a lot of passion for you, but they won't take action. Okay, there is a wants and reverses. Yeah, if they, even if they come towards you, it's going to be a false start. It's going to be a false start. If not, good if they don't, okay? Just let them come back to you in, in the right way. They're clear about what they want, but I think here there are some delays here before you can have that new start with them, okay? It's like a situation that where there's a lot of passion here, but things just don't get off ground, okay? There's like this on and off connection that you guys have, and this person's not taking action towards you. They're wanting a new start for sure, but um, they're repeating the same patterns, okay? Nothing new is happening here. Let's see. Can you tell me more about the two of cups here? I mean, you still have the potential of having a relationship with this person. Tell me about the two of cups here. Tell me more about the two of cups. What's this two of cups about as the best possible outcome? Six of wands. Yeah, there is a chance here for things to move forward, for things to be successful with you. But it looks like there is a relationship coming in, but you're moving forward here. I don't think you're wanting this person. Tell me more about the two of cups and six of wands as the best possible outcome. Three of Cups. Okay, wow, great. You have a reconciliation coming in. You do. From the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands to the Three of Cups. Yeah. So the love is there and there is a reconciliation, okay? You guys will reconcile. There is going to be forward moment and it's there is going to be victory here, okay? Something's going to be very successful between you guys. I feel this person here. The only problem here is that I feel that the love is there, right? But when this person comes in, it's not going to be like guess what we're back into a relationship i feel it's going to be like more like on a reconciliation level where you guys are still again planning and thinking of getting onto the same page okay it's going to be slow movement okay the love is there sure but i don't think you both want to rush in or at least one of you you will get back to them is what i'm getting here you will get back to them but when they come and write for you it's going to be like just, let's just take it slow why because i think you have trust issues with them you don't want to go through the entire stress that you've gone with them. So I don't feel you're going to like jump into a full-fledged, full-blown relationship with that. Again, back to what it was. Because again, I do know you feel the strong soul tie connection to them and so, the, so do they. But again, I feel it's going to be more like, let's take it easy. Let's see how it goes. Let's hang out. Let's chill. You know, let's, let's reconcile. As in, let's, it's more like an emo. It's more like, I feel like more like, um, Communication reconciliation, if that's even a word, it's like at least now I'm we both are back to talking to each other and we're both with each other again. At least you know you guys can get back to each other, start dating, but not yet as good as it was in the in the in the past is what I'm getting because that's gonna take some time because I think you're the one who has trust issues. They're sure about what they want, but you're like you know what I can't do this anymore. I think you're real nervous in wanting to get this person back. You're just not sure. That's what I have for you. Hope this makes sense and hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.